Hi, this is Tim Kruger from Coal Publishing. We are on site outside of Crandon, Wisconsin, out in the Thulees. We're going to be talking with Brandon Bucklider from Premier. They are demoing their new Urban X machine, which is air and hydro excavation. Uh, they're working with WPS, it's Michaels, out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, the contractor. This is a new innovation for Premier. Um, Brandon, what can you tell us about this new machine? Well, the new machine, we spent several years building hydro excavators, as we know, for the you know big markets, industrial vacuum truck size. And we've been listening to a lot of customers, you know, asking what they, you know, what kind of small trucks do they need? And saying, hey, this you need to add a water, smaller water machine, add air to it, and put it all together. And now we have this urban excavator, doing it with Caterpillar, integrating with them, with their service department, their equipment. This machine here, as you can see, we're in pretty tight quarters with the machine right now. With the bigger hydro excavators, you would have a hard time doing the dig that they are currently doing over there. It's hard to get in with the big trucks. They're not quite as nimble. They're a lot heavier. And the nice thing is with this little truck, like say, you can get it in, get it done where you need to without having to do a lot of remote hoses. And a two-man crew becomes much more efficient and effective with this smaller machine in these tight quarters. So you said 13 feet less? It's uh, about 12 foot less than our smaller unit. And it's almost two feet shorter. Wow. And six inches narrower, so it's a... There's no way one of your regular trucks would be able to fit in like that. No, if they really had to hydro excavate it, they'd have to park out here and you'd string in a hose and somebody would be physically holding a hose to be able to do it because you could, couldn't get sure. in there with the, with the truck. So what we just did there, probably if you had to use that other truck, it'd take you almost half a day by the time you got everything here, set up, done, and then out. Well, we were able to do it in a half hour. Yeah, nice. Another cable right here, too. Well, three inches in the ground. Okay, now, if we were in a city setting with lots of traffic and that, I mean, what are the advantages of having a machine like this versus a hydro excavator? A machine like this in an urban setting is a lot, it's got a lot smaller footprint. It's a little bit narrower, and all the equipment is set up on the curb side of the truck, which would be the passenger side. So if you are working in the city environment, all your work is done off of the passenger side, so you're out of the traffic flow. So it's just a much safer, okay. safer setting with a smaller truck in the urban environment. Can you talk about some of the advantages of the under axle dump versus the other dumps? The nice advantage of the under axle dump with the air water combination is you can dig with air, keep your spoils dry, and you can open up the rear axle dump over the hole that you were digging and be able to put your spoils back in the hole you were digging without having to bring back a whole bunch of clean fill. You know, some regulations are you have to fill, bring in some clean fill to go over the utility, but then you can reuse what you have in the truck. And with this machine here, it's got the hydraulic power to either run a core drill or a hydraulic saw. So you got one unit that can do it all. Yep, and then you can run the auxiliary hydraulic, the air compressor, and the blower and water pump all at the same time. Okay, let's go back to the bill because I heard some stories that you were saying you didn't know what to expect, maybe not as much power as a hydro excavator. Kind of tell me that story when you first put both of them together and what happened. We started with you know, borrowing a big air compressor from a, one of the local rental shops so we could use the air compressor and dig with just air and see what the results were. And it was very favorable, it worked good in looser soils. And we'd use the water like our big hydrovax and that did really well, but then we took the water and air and combined them together in a single lance and the results were just amazing. It was, you know, it was a three to four times increase in the productivity of the machine with the combination of two air and water together. And that was a that was a big surprise. That was fun to see. And that's opened a lot of eyes to a lot of people. And is off. the plan to show this at the next big show then? Yes, it is. We got it lined up to go to the pumper show or the wet show the wet in show. Indianapolis in in February. Okay, so once you get everything ironed out, then you're going into full production? Yeah, we're going into full production. We've actually had a lot of interest from a couple big pipeline companies that they already ordered two trucks. They're nice. sitting in the shop ready to go, waiting us to get back with this one to say, yeah, we need to change this or we don't need to change that. And Can you relate this to like the gas, oil, and mining market where this would be advantageous over the The, the big one is for the pipeline company here. They like to do, you know, they can call it cathodic pipeline protection. Yep. So they have to dig up the pipeline, sandblast it off, redo the coating. Well, with this machine here, they can hydro excavate it or excavate it with air, whatever they need. Then there's the air compressor to run the sandblaster so they can remove the coating, clean the pipe, check it, and then go ahead and put all the fill back in all, all in with one, one machine. There you go. All right, thank you very much. I well, appreciate it, Tim. Thanks for coming up and visiting.